Season 3 Prime League. It is going to be your boy Tempo, joined by Leth. How you doing, man? I am glorious. I am wonderful. I've been looking forward to seeing these players in action for a little while now. Yeah, indeed. As uh, this is going to be the first game of the day, it is uh, this Terran player spawning in the top left, representing Team Ascension. It is my darling. Mm-hmm. And across the map, of course, we see in the bottom right, in the red, representing global esports management, it is the infamous Zerg player, the one, the only, Nesty. Yeah, I couldn't tell if I had, um, if I had my camera on the right one, because I actually was on my darling's camera instead of the <laughs> Sabres. So I was like, oh, wow. Why is it's, I don't know what Sabres doing, man. He keeps on, like, going back and forth from his uh, command center to his barracks and supply depot. So That's uh, just actually, good observing. That's how that's how the pros do it. That's like, <laughs> you were so out of BC, he'd be jumping around. Funka does it now, too, as well. It'd be yeah. leaping between the bases. You know, you can barely see what is going on. But, of course, that is, that is the, what the players are up to. They're just acting before they think sometimes. Uh, getting that high-speed play up and coming, even though it's not the most active phase of the game right now. Yeah. They're just warming up. They're getting ready. It's the warm-up phase, you know. It's actually could be one of the most tense phases of the game, too, because you're just kind of thinking, like, all right, first game, you know, I'm going up against an ST, or, you know, it's uh, hopefully I'm not getting, like, seven pulled, something crazy, you know, something that you never see, but an ST just would make work somehow. And, um... Yeah. Something goofy like that, but also Nesty probably doesn't know too much here about my darling either, so he's probably just playing this out just like a regular ZVT. Doesn't really have any background information as to stylistic choices that she may like to make, um, but I'm sure there's a lot more information about Nesty out there, and it makes me wonder if my darling uh, had been doing her research as well. Although you don't see as many broadcasted matches by Nesty, I think he does stream a little bit on um, uh, every once in a while, I think, but... Yeah, I've actually, I've never caught one of his streams, but um, my darling is, 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 she, is she a big streamer? I have never seen her stream before, actually. Okay, that's Luffy so, BM game. The only time that I've seen, yeah, the only time I've seen my darling um, is in the ASL, actually. Oh, there so, you go. Yeah. And that's and that where we are right now, watching indeed. my darling playing against one of the most famous Zergs in the world. And that does carry with it some advantages, of course, because you, as we were saying, you know, Nesty probably isn't going to know what my darling's cooking up what the usual strats there are and Nesty is much more famous although he's been a bit quiet lately so maybe there's going to be a bit of a deception battle going on right now and actually as I say that Roach Warren coming down oh, so man. that I don't think has been seen by my darling at all uh, mm -mm. Nesty put mm. it down as soon as my darling had left the base and you know what if uh, I'm my darling and I looked into the base of Nesty with that SCV I'm thinking that looks pretty standard to me, you know, uh, except for the fact that maybe she didn't click on the gas and see how much had been mined if Nesty was still mining it. But, I mean, you know, it wasn't anything too crazy. It just uh, no Roachborn was building when she came in, you know, it was when she left. So that's something that you're going to have to really, really be careful about because here come five Roaches at the moment. And my darling is not even getting a Reaper. She's going right into that factory. So she's not going to have that uh, second scout here to find out that this is coming. No, and eight roaches are on the way for Nesty, so you really want to see that coming. That's something you need to be paying attention to as a Terran player. Yeah. Well, luckily for her, though, uh, I think she has been... I don't know, I'm trying to think if she was known for mech at all, but I don't know, actually. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? But the opener that she's doing here is uh, showing that she might be kind of uh, that kind of mech player, as she does already drop a factory that has a siege tank coming out from it. But the way mm. that it's rallied here, it's not going to be too protected. Uh, you know, so no, and it's going to be seen by no idea, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is worrying. Uh, that siege tank is going to be seen by the Overseer, of course. So the Roaches will have vision and might well be able to get a snipe off on that, knowing that it's... I think that's a little bit too far back, which is good. But, of course, this command center building in the wall, if that gets sniped out by the forces of Nessie, then, uh, well, it's not... It's not healable at this point, so yeah. these roaches can just push up, snipe it out, off they go. And we could see a GG right here and now, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if the tank's going to be enough to drive these guys back. There are quite yeah, a lot of roaches It's only going to be one, 
She's not really making anything else, but she does actually have a Cloak Banshee potentially about to be on the way. But another Siege Tank is going to be on the way as well, so she should be able to get enough tanks out, perhaps. Getting a nice shot already first. There's only two Marines in this bunker, but if it goes down, that is it. That and is it does. Oh, but a second tank sieging up, and actually the SCV is being pulled off the line. One tank going down there. I am not sure that these roaches are going to be able to end the game right here and now, but the uh, with very little defense being shown by my darling it's still possible they're now shoving up the ramp this is looking increasingly bad with scvs dropping uh, up in the production where's the reinforcements where's the yeah. reinforcements my darling there's really nothing coming out except for the banshee and then the the, the tank is going to be here as well but she's going to take a lot of scv damage here and even scv deaths but you know what she is on the third command center so she would be able to get back into the game especially because nesty is only on two bases as well but it's just not helping when uh, everything that comes out gets killed by the roaches. But she's uh yeah. This is uh this is looking increasingly bad. There is a banshee on its way out now. That is gonna chase off these remaining roaches, and the wall has been remade by my darling in that time. But down to 20 SCVs. Now third command center is still gonna help. going. They're gonna get the mule too. Oh, yeah, there's one left. Oh Jeez. man. So yeah, how many? Did you, 22 workers killed in that so this banshee's uh, gonna have to do a lot of damage to try to equalize but the good thing that is that she has the three command centers that's uh, that's really all she has going for her at the moment she's not gonna be able to be too aggressive uh, at all she's just gonna be able to use his banshees and look at what Nessie's cooking up here with that spire on the way already has a spore crawler in the mineral line both of the mineral lines yeah, well, you would do, wouldn't you? You see that, uh, you see that banshee come out. You see it chase away the roaches. And sport crawlers build fast. You got thirty seconds, and the banshee takes about that long to cross the map. So if it's already in your opponent's natural, you know that you've got time, and the time has been taken. Nesty is feeling pretty well defended. Sending the queens out now with, uh, with an overseer for that detection against the cloak of the banshee that hasn't even finished yet. Yeah, it's not even done. The overseer is there already. And these banshees are just going to go home. But I would love to see my darling poke around and try to get something done with them. Just because you don't want to just go home after that. They're going to be a little useful in the later game. But once those mutas come out, you have to be so much more careful with them. Because once they get caught out, there's not much you can do to uh, save them. No, they are just going to go down at that point. But they're now just going to try and drift around the map, see if there's any scouting that can be done. Heading towards that potential, uh, sometimes taken as a third or fourth base. But that's what they're scouting out, seeing if there's any bases out there. And there are no bases, so there's not really a lot for uh, for my darling to do with these, because everywhere is just so well defended. Popping the cloak, going to head into the natural, but nothing. There's queens, there's spores. What can, and there's mutas too left, because here uh, they come. Oh. And uh, I don't believe going? that Nesty has the Overlord speed, but he's going right for the base of my darling, who's frantically trying to get this turret up inside of her mineral line. But it does look like she is going to be going into mech. She has two more factories on the way, but here come the mutas, going to be able to kill that building SCV. And uh, just in the nick of time, those uh, yeah. turrets are going to be able to ward away those mutas. Actually lost a mutilisk in there. Quite unusual to see Nesty lose a mutilisk that easily to, uh, to a turret that wasn't even finished building when they arrived. But they've now clumped up, getting himself quite a few mutilisks. Going to go in and do what mutilisks do best, picking off add-ons. Going to be trying to stop any Thors coming out, which is, of course, what we see coming out of the factories of, my darling. Thors are what you need to drive away uh, drive away mutilisks from your base. But if you can force an overcommitment to Thors, you can then strike with a counterattack. And killing off these tech labs leaves a massive timing window as well. Uh, yeah. For for just a period in which a perfect attack could come out with roaches. I'm wondering if that's what Nesty's going to go for, or whether he's just going to wait for uh, his glory constitution, whether we're going to see just a, yeah, teching up, 16 drones. Just feel yeah, safe. Yeah, he got every single tech lab on all of those buildings, and as a mecking player, you don't only want to be building Hellions at this point in time, because Nesty has shown that uh, mutas and roaches are what he's going to be making, and that is the balance that you need as a mech player between Thors and Seize tanks. But if you can't build either of them, good luck, have fun. But oh my god, Nesty, those are three doors. You gotta get out of there. And yeah, he's gonna go for one last volley. Wow. Getting a hit, losing so many mutas. Nesty lost six mutas already. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they've done the damage they needed to, though, because obviously delaying that production, all of the production coming out of the factories by 25 seconds, that's just a, that's a, like a wave that isn't coming. That's something. It's huge, yeah. Yeah. My darling just isn't getting that time back. They take forever to get out, man. They, those <laughs> doors and uh, sea tanks a little bit less time, but geez, to get those doors out, it felt like it was an eternity, and all of those tech labs went down. And now mm. she can't even really make anything. She's, she's just now starting to do it. You can even see Hellions in the production. I don't even know if she has Blue Flame, 
I think she's just making them because uh, that was all that she could make while uh, the tech labs were getting remade. Bro. Well, I don't yeah, know. True, she's true. just making them to have them because never mind. You can't make Hellions while tech labs are making. What are you thinking, Tempo? Mm. Uh, I, I I don't know. I just don't know. I'm trying to work out exactly what's going on in this game at this point. After such a confusing start with those roaches turning up doing the damage they did, with the uh, with the banshees then being denied and that kind of strange mutilisk attack out of Nesty that left him, well, it would I would say behind, but obviously not behind. In a great oh, yeah. position with the economy, with great drones. Uh, now with a fourth base secured and a fifth yep. on the way, Nesty is looking absolutely golden. He's taking this opportunity to uh, to kind of do everything all the yeah, things he's are getting happening all the things <laughs> getting swarm host upgrade with that enduring locust two twos on the way he also already has burrow and he's getting the burrow movement for the roaches luckily for my darling she does have these ravens here so they will be able to detect those burrowed roaches as well as the swarm host but uh that is what you got to do if you're going to invest into roaches you might as well get those upgrades that make them just that much better yeah, it's true. Uh, nice to have that versatility available to to a player. And I've seen some really great Roach versus Meg play in the past as well, where you just send in little hit squads of Roaches. Of course, the other advantage of the Burrowed Roach is it can dodge a uh, it can dodge a Sense Tower, that Terran map hack that Ooh. is just just so strong. So you're going to see that burrowing under, and of course nothing, my darling, can't see it. It's just not there. You can see the shimmer on the ground, but it's not vision vision. It's not the same. Nesty threw a flu in that overseer. He saw that there was a raven, so he figures that the burrow's not going to do anything. But he also sees that my darling really doesn't have anything here. And here goes Nesty with a bunch of roaches. Going to go right on in. He doesn't even give a damn. He's just going to go get a nice concave. And he's just trading inefficiently because he can't. A seeker missile goes down on all of those roaches on the left side. SCVs are coming off the line, but there is a lot on the ground here for Nesty as he does have the 2-2 two -two already, killing all the Thors, and now 17 mutas in production. Three siege tanks are being made at a time here, Latin. You know why? Because roaches are scary. But guess what? Yes. Mutas. They're going to be uh, <laughs> so much scarier. more problematic. Yes. And that is a really nice tech switch from Nesty, forcing out more tanks to deal with these roaches that already have been eliminated. And then the mutas come in, and then there's nothing to be able to contest them. So, really yeah. nice tech switching here from Nesty. I mean, this is just looking so good for him at this point in time. Moving in, there's panic Widow Mines being made by my darling. Just getting tanks and Widows, all the splash units. It could be a Protoss playing right now, but it's not. It's just a Terran. <laughs> just a Terran going mech, and I'm not sure if mech has the power. You know, and power of Protoss. It would be an ST game if he didn't go over the 100 drone mic, I guess, because he just made 17 True. drones during that attack. And he's up to 103 drones as he comes in with the Mutas. These mutas are going to be able to just do so much. They're already at a plus two. Oh, are they? I believe they have plus. No, they're at one one. Never mind. Plus two carapace is on the way to uh, take a few more hits from those stores and not die too quickly. But here comes the part. These widow mines have a lot of work ahead of them as they're going to try to uh, get under these mutalists. But I don't even think they have that drilling claws upgrade just yet. Yeah, and uh, was not seeing my darling going for the cunning strats where you are. Uh, oh, actually, a bit of a scary mine there. But you can hide. Uh, you can hide Widow Mines under tanks, and it is not happening. GG is oh. cool. I'm Tempo, joined by Leth, and this player who is spawning in the top right corner, representing Global Esport Management. It is Nesty. Indeed it is, and across the map, his opponent wearing blue, representing Team Ascension, which also seemed to have a nice blue logo, and playing Terran. It is my darling. I still feel a little bit weird saying that name. I, I, won't lie. <laughs> I never, um, yeah, it always feels like, okay. Is it like, my darling who? Like, whoa, is that your <laughs> girlfriend playing? Is that your, no, no, that's just her name. Uh, yeah, it was in that, in that last game, um, when... When Nesty was going into the main, and mm -hmm. I was just, I was like, "What can my darling do?" And I was just like, "I'm, I'm, so, I'm so worried about her, man." Stop putting your emotions in the game, man. You gotta, you gotta just think about it. Just, is Zerg gonna turn yeah. player? You know, just, no, no caster bias because of. I'm like an overprotective mother. I know, right? My darling. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we'll have to see whether she can pull it out the bag in this one. Obviously, dropping the uh, the previous game on King Sejong, but Nesty this time, um, 
may may be able to take it, or maybe she'll get one back. Yeah. So I'm wondering how we're going to see uh, this game kind of pan out as... Let's see. My darling last time didn't open up with the Reaper. She did open up very... Well, it was a mech opener, right? But I don't remember if it was... I don't think it was a CC first. It could have been. I could be wrong. I'm trying to remember if it was a CC first or if it was just a... I uh, think it was CC first, but I don't I don't remember. Yeah, the build, the way that the build pl like panned out, like it, sound, it felt like a CC first. I just couldn't remember if she put down the barracks first and then was kind of nervous. Because when you put the CC first in, that means like you know you're you're feeling it. Like uh, you're not really afraid of anything, and they did. It does make you pretty safe against very early game uh, pressure. But um, Nasty, doing what he does, he just getting the hatchery, the gas, into that pool. And he's going to be opening up pretty much the same exact way that he opened up on King Sejong. And my darling, though, is opening up very standard here with the Reaper and then going into that reactor. And then we'll most likely see the factory. And it makes me wonder if we are going to see another mech style coming out of her or if uh, she will decide to do bio or... I don't know what her preferred style is. I said it the last time if uh, she's known for mech or anything like that. Last game, she did go for it. So we'll see. You don't typically see that siege tank uh, opener, right? Like, straight up. No, it is unusual. It is particularly unusual. It might have just been a style for the map. We'll have to see what it is uh, that comes out of her in a moment. I'm interested to see if Nesty goes for a roach timing again, because last game, already we are seeing a bit of a variance. I don't think he went for such fast speed in the previous game at all. Um, instead, opting to go for that roach pressure with the A roaches kind of hitting oh, about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, and this time we've got... We've got speed so maybe nesty's got something cooking maybe he's going to do a speedling based attack or maybe this is just defensive uh it could it could just be a defensive style to deal with any hellions that we do see coming out of a terran on this map yeah i like getting speed a lot too because it does give you the aggress uh the aggressive option if you choose to you can always park lings around the map uh life does this all the time especially in the early game and when those first few hellions go in out, out onto the map to try to get map control you just send in you know six or so speedlings even maybe eight into the natural and then it just kind of flusters the terran and uh mm. you can get surrounds on the hellions on the other side of the map if they forget about them they'll be getting uh well losing a lot of them if they're not paying attention so yeah, flusters is definitely the right word. So much of this game in the lower leagues and by the lower leagues I mean anything below top one hundred Grandmaster um can, you can deal with a lot of players just by throwing them off. You can throw them off their game, and you can attack in in two or three places at once, and you can mess with their heads to the extent where they just they just can't can't handle it. Yeah, it can get pretty annoying as a Terran player because you're supposed to have the map control, and you feel like you have the control of the whole game for that uh, at least specific part of it. But look at what Nesty is doing, getting two spore crawlers up in each. Oh, is he getting them in his mineral line? I wonder if he's thinking about those banshees that hit him from last time. And is kind of just preemptively preparing for them as he did see the starport building, but he didn't see the add-ons that were building. So he's just playing it so safe right now. But there are yeah, no banshees I mean, on the way. It's good to be safe. It is good to be safe when your terrifying it could be going for straight banshees, and especially when you don't know if there's a uh, if there's a third base. Because if there's no third, then they could be hitting pretty soon. Yeah. And uh, here they go. It's going to be an armory on the way here for my darling. She's going to be going for that hellbat timing i wonder if she oh she is going to go for the ban she's right after it so nesty is not going to be wasting these spore crawlers at all spore crawlers can be pretty good against dealing with medivacs in the late game too but you know you typically don't want to do it in the early game if you're not expecting banshees but here comes the hellbats even some scvs are here and roaches are going to be coming out how many roaches is nesty going to make he already has six out uh, I think we're just going to see more and more at this point. Defensive roaches, or maybe Ooh. Nesty's got enough. Maybe he's no okay. more roaches because uh, yeah. yeah, the roach run is going to go down here for my darling. He immediately has to remake it, but seven roaches is all that Nesty has, as well as these queens. My darling needs to push Nesty back so that she can get some, some economic damage done. Will she be able to do it though? She's only going for those units at the moment. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. Not really getting into the drone line. Nesty not pulling drones in any kind of panic. And we're seeing now a wave of lings being sent out. With those uh, hellbats being picked off gradually by roaches, by queens. And the medevac was used to pull back uh, damaged hellbats, which kept meant that it wasn't actually healing some of the ones that died. Then now the tanky of the force has been killed off. My yeah. darling actually doesn't have that much army left. She doesn't, and Nesty Holds uh, is already up by about 13 workers. And my darling going to try to drop in the main. Got to be careful with that medevac as it is starting to get very low. And she's going to go ahead and retreat back with the rest of her units. But the yeah, follow-up is, is going to be position. the Cloak Banshee. Yeah, that's a very scary position. 
Oh, man. So she's going to now drop her command center after the fact. So keep in mind that this is actually a very... Uh, something notable, actually, that we have to pay attention to because usually if someone is going to uh, try to really go into a macro game, they'll drop the command center before the attack or during the attack. This is like a fallback, like, oh, that didn't really work, so let's expand and uh, hope that we're, we can go into a macro game here. Yeah, and uh, right now that is pretty much exactly what we're getting. I mean, both players are expanding, so there is a bit of a window, perhaps, for my darling to get away with this third base, but I don't really think it's happening with this Baneling Nest on its way. Uh, yep. it, so I think pretty shortly we'll see some aggression come out of Nesty. It just only feels right with this Roach Force that's going to be pushing across the Thames to do some damage to maybe even deny this third base, certainly hold the location uh, away from, from my darling and kind of go, you're not getting this, you're not getting this. These Banshees are starting to do work, and a uh, really nice move here for my darling. Going to get both of the Queens, and now but is going to defend the third of Nesty. However, uh, since there's no Banshees here at home, there is mm. nothing here at, for my darling. There's no Bunker, no Seize Tank, and she just dropped four Raxes, or Factories, rather. Are those four Factories? Uh, she just walked right in the front door, so Tempo. She just walked hey. right in. This is, oh, that's so bad. Ling follow-up as well, going to shred everything there. Getting up on the ramp, denying those Hellions from even getting down. Their pathing just screwing up. The Roach is walking straight into the main base as the Lings conquer the natural. This oh, yeah. is a very, very grim situation for my darling. I don't think she's going to be taking one back in any way. Uh, no, uh, the Banshee's are just now coming back home, but look at this. The damage has been done here. Yes, it's triple orbital again, but when you're down to six workers, to 41. I don't even think yeah. Nesty cares that he doesn't have a third at the moment. He's just going to go in for the kill, rallying a bunch of links, and the mutas are going to be following this up. My darling has nothing that can shoot up. No turrets out. No engineering bay to even make turrets. If this doesn't kill her, then the muta follow up definitely will. Yeah, I mean, during that, she did do a counter drop, which means, of course, there wasn't. Ah, GG is called. Cool.